Oh, g'day scrappers. We're out here again today. Just going to have a little look around at uh, some hard rubbish. Hopefully we find a few goodies and stuff. Just, uh, it's quite a cool day today. See how we go. set top box to start us off really sure what I'm looking for today um, I don't want too much uh, junk because I'm starting to wind down for my holidays so I don't want to be overloaded with uh, a lot of work so I'm but I'm hoping to find some choice items some interesting electronics yeah basically mostly just to have a little bit of fun today and uh, kill a couple of hours and uh, yeah never know what we might stumble across well I think I found the first scrapped out PC <laughs> yeah nice gaming tower but completely scrapped Oh, at least I've got one gold fingers. Hey, gold fingers. Nice ribbon wire. I've got a DVD. Oh well. Better than nothing. Color Funkin. Looks like another scrapped out PC I can see a case in the front oh no oh there you go <laughs> it's just had the RAM taken out and the hard drive hey we've got a PC guys that was uh, alright pretty quick Good to get a a nice early PC. I'll just leave it there for a second. This looks like all glassware. PC. 
see. Um, oh yeah. Might as well take the cover. So this is just the residents just taking out their own hard drive. That's all right. Still got the CPU and the slot card and yay, HP. We're in business. Oh. It's a nice water cable. DVD. Don't know if this is wire. Nah. It's only low grade, but I'll take it. big empty steel box. I think it was a battery charger. That would have been nice if that was full. Would have had a lot of copper and brass in it. Nice big stack. Surely there's got to be something in here. Maybe not. Something in here, but nothing. It's a heavy wire. Oh, look at that. PC, compact Presario, Windows 7, AMD. Beautiful, really nice condition. Yay! PC number two complete. Compact Presario. I can't remember ever ever getting a compact Presario. All these scrappers just hanging around. It's hard to say. Uh, nothing. Well, that's good. Energy saving. I like my power plugs, brass and copper. Oh well, we've got some cords and stuff to complement our two computers. Coat hangers, no shortage of coat hangers. Everyone seems to be putting them out. A duster. Uh, Digimatic caliper, $317. Wow. 
We're gonna check that out. Mitutoyo Digimatic Caliper. The price $317.95. Wow. That's an expensive bit of kit if it's still in here. Yep, again, $317. Come on, be in here. Oh, wow. <clears throat> oh, this is exactly what I need. I've always wanted one of these. It's a digital caliper. It must be a good one, Mitutoyo. Made in Japan. Wow. Oh, how lucky am I? This is beautiful. Oh, wow. Even in its own case, instructions. $317.95. Oh my gosh. I've always wanted one and I've been meaning to get a cheap one like for about 100 bucks but this is $318 Jap Japanese oh wow what a score oh that's fantastic this is something that is really nice to have digital calipers but it's you know unless you really need it it's very hard to justify spending $300 on something like this, but to get it for free, oh wow. That's even better than two PCs. <laughs> Actually, that makes up for about 30 PCs. That's fantastic. That's the score of the week. I don't know if we're going to get any better than that. That was just a lucky little, um, little find in an oddball box. I, I guarantee that if anyone saw that, they uh, would have, um, <laughs> no doubt anyone would take that. Even if you just see something and you see a price tag of $317, you'd take it. And you work out later what to do with it, you know. Oh wow, I'm gonna have another look at that when I have a pit stop. Wow. See, I just keep proving to myself over and over that driving past piles is okay, but you're not gonna find the, you know, you're only gonna find obvious stuff, you know. If I was in this area, like if I lived in this area, I would um, I would look more hard in inside piles, but you know, I, I'd only cover like 20 streets and I'd have to go. It'll be, fit, the day will be over. So you've got to sort of kind of get a feel of where you are, uh, what you're looking at. If I see any cords or stuff like that, I'll stop because that shows at least that the cord cutter wasn't there so there is a chance that I might find something uh, a bit more interesting so that's one way I look at piles and you can just tell which piles have been picked at and which haven't but yeah there were people at the pile when I got there and uh, I think they were looking at a printer. Well, okay, I'm gonna get back on track here and start thinking again. <laughs> hey, there's a the PC scrapped out. Oh, it's still got the motherboard. I like how he left the PC out there for me to look right there it would have been a good one oh well I still got two DVD drives but a bit of work just to get the motherboard everything's taken CPU RAM we can't call that a PC but I can call it a motherboard and you know at the end it's still scrap metal
Yeah, I'll take these routers, some, you know, just some wood tools. Sharpener, it's got some nice little round. I'll take it. Wow. How's that? $317 cap calipers, absolute digimatic. These must be really, really accurate. Japanese made. This must be uh, super duper. Hey? Wow. It's like, it's just like a, having, getting a Christmas present, you know? But an expensive one. You know? Who buys $300 Christmas presents? Not very often. Hmm. Set top box. Another set top box. That's a big bandsaw. Uh, another digital set top box. Just gotta have a look around. More low grade wire, but I'll take it. It's a couple bucks worth. Hey, it's a modem. Always got to look in bags because oh, there's some easy money stainless steel. About ten bucks. Why not? Why not indeed? So much of this low grade coax cable around. It's very cheap, you know. It, it's as light as a feather. It doesn't weigh anything in it. You need a whole van load just to get <laughs> 40 bucks. Just want to have a look here. Gosh, this is a completely scrapped out photocopier. Wow, they've done a good job of that. Taken all the motors, everything. <laughs> wow, they must have had a lot of time up their sleeve. Completely scrapped out. Unbelievable. I don't think I've ever scrapped out a photocopier down to that much. Oh, here we go. How's that? Four DVDs in one pile. Well, cord cutters 
got their bit and I'll get the rest. Oh, well, one's uh, an MTV kind of machine. Okay. I think I need a coffee. I'm going to stop at 7 Eleven, get myself a $2 coffee. That would have been nice, wouldn't it? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Need to steal a cable for a MacBook Air. Wouldn't that be nice? But I still got a power supply for one. Got a cord. Oh wow. I'm taking this whole bag. We'll see what goodies we've got in it. Wow, oh, Toshiba, still got the power cord in there, I reckon this one will work, oh look at that, that's nice, it's missing a F5 key, and another one up there, that's a good one, power supply unit, oh what's that, IBM ThinkPad, okay, two laptops, Modem, some junk, uh, I'll put that back, one gigabyte, 256 megs. So a goodie bag. Okay. There's a scrapped out PC. Yep. Completely scrapped. Hey. Five dollars. Um, okay, I've got to go back here. There's more bags. Modem. Taking this whole bag too. Yep. Cords. Cassettes. Modem. I think I've got to come back. This one's a good one. Nice little court.
here's a nice extension lead it looks okay Hi. Hi, how are you? Alright mate, how are you? Yeah, good. Maybe the, the whip light, maybe need to fix. Oh, I'll leave it for someone else. Okay. <laughs> someone that knows how to fix them. <laughs> Take the cords. MacBook Pros. So obviously got a large disposable incomes. That was good, two laptops. Take a bit of cast aluminium since it's nice and easy. Well that was good, two laptops. Uh, which way did I come from? I can't even remember which way I came from now. <laughs> but yeah, that was excellent. And hopefully now as the um, afternoon is coming, they're going to start to put more stuff out. There's one guy, he just drives around in a car and I've seen him about 10 times already. And all he does, he just scoots around really quickly and that's the guy that picks up and scraps out TVs, uh, sorry, uh, computers. So he picks them up and he just goes around really fast um, looking for any PC that he can. I found another one. So obviously he can't be at it hundred spots in one time so I'm still going to get my PCs but yeah I found him and what he does he waits for people to put stuff out hey Del lovely hey complete PC excellent two laptops three PCs and a motherboard I might just go back up just want to have a look at a pile that I missed don't want to get run over but I drove past this quickly I just want to have a quick look I noticed some monitors yeah but no PC Well, a couple of cords for my trouble. Well, since I'm here on a main road, I might as well walk these piles and have a little look. As I keep saying, when you're um, near a main road, the overlooked piles most scrappers just drive past <laughs> not often do they stop so uh, oh. some nice gaming tower covers But it doesn't look like the tower is here. <laughs> look at that. Ten dollars. Oh, it's a half of ten dollars. It's still got the serial number on one side.
I wonder if the other Doesn't look like it. How's that? It's ten dollars, but a big chunk of it's been taken off. But it's still got the identifying. I don't know if the bank would accept that. Oh well, almost got ten dollars. I got about eight dollars. Funny. <laughs> How's that? It was just scrunched up in the bag like that. Bit of a shame. It's been broken. That's probably why they never bothered with it. But I reckon the bank would accept this because most of it's there. Here you go. Ten bucks. I'll put it up here so if I ever get to the bank, I'll try them out. Hey, made them. Oh, okay. Look at those cords. Nice. Looks like there might be some goodies. Oh, wow. Lots of cords. Awesome. Top box. That'll do me. What am I missing? Look at this little PC, compact, beautiful. Hey, that's an obscure one. Compact Presario. Hey, beautiful. It's complete. PC guy probably passed it and thought it was just a uh, nothing. <laughs> It's hard to spot that that was a PC being so small. Awesome. Oh, well, we're doing pretty good, I think. We're getting our fair share of uh, a bit of everything. We're getting cords, um, PCs, a couple of laptops. 
a little bit of everything. The cord's been cut. Awesome. All right. Well, there we go. Another PC. Just wanted a quick look there before I grab one of these barrels. That one's mangled. Yep. Okay. I might actually, I know this seems funny, but I'd rather the lids than that barrel. The lids are more important to me. Uh, this one's a little bit bent, but I'll still take it. Cool. Wow, a lot of electronics. A lot of stuff there, mate. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Just after a few electronics, just to play with. Yeah, that's all right. I I don't I break them up and. There's that one there, that one down there as well, and heaps of speakers. Yeah, no worries. Thank you. He's gone in to get me some more. So in the meantime, I'll just cut myself some cords. Wow, that's interesting. DVD wow. That's a nice one Take if you want Yeah, yeah, I'll take them all Thanks, man. No worries. Have a good day. Appreciate it. you too. Pioneer. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, vector research. It's pretty good too. Awesome. Good stuff on a busy road. Just for fun, people always tell me I should look behind couches, right? So just for fun, hey, I've got a cigarette lighter. Doesn't work. Nah. Well, there you go, guys. No money. <laughs> 
I suppose it makes sense, but that's probably all you're going to get is a few coins. You're not really going to find five or ten dollar notes behind the couch because they don't really slide like that. <laughs> but there you go. I did it. I looked behind the lounge suite and I got nothing. a little uh, mechanical scooter it looks a little in oh hey that was a battery stop two little ones one big car one there you go quickest 10 bucks you'd ever make check this out <laughs> PC completely scrapped out. Yep, it was a nice gaming one, but all the bits that they've put them in. Power supply, motherboard, still got the CPU in it. Power cord, heat sink. I'll take it for the gold pins. box modem cords I won't take the keyboard I got too many again Oh, another motherboard. Hey, how lucky am I? Still got the CPU. Awesome. Pretty big one too. Oh, a couple of slot cards. Here we go. Hard drive. DVD floppy. That's a virtually a complete PC. Cord food. Yay. Cords. Cord City. Hey, take your knees.
these bags. I don't like to leave these bags because, as you've seen, sometimes there's nothing and sometimes it's just they're full of cords and when you get a bag full of cords you know it doesn't take long to get a really good stock of um, copper wire that you can sell and cash in pretty quickly and Oh yeah, wow, looks like laptops, computer, oh wow, oh check out all, oh I know what these are, I used to have them myself, they're from the Motorola walkie talkies, <coughs> they actually sell alright but I don't want to, look, two laptops, yeah compacts, Windows Vista. Uh, they've taken out the hard drive and the RAM. Same as that. That's all right. I'll take the rest. Awesome. And guess, look at this. Oh, we can take the set pop, top box. But this is what we want. Yay. PC, guys. Awesome. <sighs> okay, so it's had, so maybe the scrapper's bit, or it's just, just probably, who knows. So it's had the RAM taken out and the hard drive, you know. I was warned about a few guys going around just taking the hard drives for data, whether that's true or not. All right, yay, PC. I, I should say I'm only going to do 20 minutes more often. <laughs> uh, oh well, since it's sort of there, there's copper, aluminium. Two more laptops. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I don't want that. But since these TVs are going to go, believe it or not, they're going straight into landfill tomorrow morning. Council doesn't do anything with these. They just crush them up in the truck and they're gone. Forgotten about. not a bad table you know it's nice solid wood but I've got no room for it I'll leave it like that and someone else will spot it hopefully before the truck comes and crushes it all up tomorrow it's a real shame you know when you see good stuff crushed up there's a nice cord I think they're getting rid of the whole trailer. There's a trailer. It's a mess. It's all rotten. The wood's all rotten up. Yeah, hopefully someone picks up that table because uh, it's too good to get thrown in the rubbish. Yay, we scored a scrapped out PC. Hey, this one's got a nice copper heat sink on it. As I keep saying, I don't mind 
taking the uh, scraps. Obviously I'm too late to get the complete PC, but is that another one? Yep. So the uh, PC scrap I just turned into the right street at the right time and oh, okay. Yeah, he, he made a bit of a mess of this one to try and get the PC, the CPU out. He's just a quick snatch and grab guy, but I'll take it. I think that's uh, six PCs and uh, about four or five motherboards on their own. So I'm doing good in the same street right at the end. Ha ha ha, look at this. Do you see what I see? Oh wow, awesome. Oh yeah. Oh well, there's two hard drives in there. There's uh, at least one slot card. Oh, that's seven. Here's a slot card. Dell. Oh yeah. That's eight. Oh. Oh yeah, oh it's got RAM, everything. Yeah. He got he got two of them but he didn't come over to this side. Look, here's another one. Oh and another one. Oh perfect. Old AMD. Well it's got everything except for the power supply unit. That's I think that's eight. A Dell. Oh this one's a nice one. Optiplex. I get a few of these. Oh, complete. Still got the hard drive, CPU, RAM. Complete, baby. Oh, that's nine, is it? I don't know, nine or ten? What's in this box? Okay. Oh. Java. How to program. Wow. Enhanced A plus guide to managing and maintaining your PC. Just out of interest sake, I'm going to take these. They're very heavy books. They would have been expensive. Here's a modem. Uh, living on a budget. I do that all the time. Actually, these books, some of these are really expensive. I like technical books that are about electronics and computers. All right. How many was that in that pile? One, two, three, four? Four or five, I can't remember now. I'll have to go back on the video. Awesome, wow. Well, my 20 minutes is almost up. And, uh, hey, there's a scrapper. Well, how's that? Just got in the nick of time. Yeah, but my 20 minutes is up, but I'm not sure I wanna go home now. <laughs> Not after finding four or five PCs on one pile. That's just uh, unheard of. Well, it's not unheard of, but awesome for um, coming towards the end of my, my run. And uh, to find that pile, it just gives me a lot more um, incentive to uh, keep going. But I'm getting hungry. And mind you, I only um, I only got two hours sleep last night. I was uh, I just couldn't go to sleep for some reason. 
so I'm doing pretty good considering I've only had two hours sleep and I haven't even had anything to eat all day I'm just going on adrenaline and here's another one I think oh yeah he hasn't touched this one haha <laughs> Oh, maybe he has. Well, it's only the power supply is taken. Oh, you beauty. It's got one, two, three, four slot cards. Wow. That must be PC-10. I can't, I haven't. Can't remember now. He's a slow scrapper. <laughs> going around well that was excellent well actually I didn't realize how late it is so I'm pretty happy with that 10 or 11 PCs four or five laptops and motherboards and cords and probably still the best thing was this caliper Still can't get over a $318 caliper. Wow. That's unbelievable. See the price? Wow. So that's the score of the day. No worries about that. And yeah, I think I'm pretty happy and uh, I'm quite away away from home. So I think I might just go in, grab something to eat, wash my hands and uh, then head home. Yeah, that's it guys. Just got something to eat and uh, I'm just going to head home now. Hope that was a bit of fun for you. Had an awesome day out there. Got heaps of PCs and stuff that I wanted. And uh, yeah, let's hope we can do it again next week. All right, keep scrapping, have fun, and I'll catch you next time.